YouTube, what is good? This is Diz again, coming at you. I mean, um, my singer from my label just left. And right now, I mean, she just laid down this hot ass song. And I mean, like, this shit is crazy. But I'm about to um, let y'all get a little sneak peek and play like the first like 30 or 40 seconds of it. And I mean, so y'all can get a feel for this. I mean, I'll show you what to do on a R&B song. song heavy I mean but um she's definitely real tal talented I mean and I'm real glad that I have that I got her on my label I mean but um yeah all you do with um the R&B is still the, something the same that you do with hip hop so still do all this I mean that never changes Hits and lots of hits and lots of clicks. It's been a long ass day. I mean, like it took us like probably fifteen minutes to do the song, but all the interruptions and everything it took us probably took like two hours from the time we started to the time we finished it. I mean, so it's been a real long day. But while this is going, um. I want to say thank you to all the viewers that looks at my YouTube page, my YouTube videos. I mean, comments them, rate them, everything. Uh, everybody that subscribed to me right now, and especially everyone that pays attention to my bio that's on the left side of my page and actually goes to my music page and my labels page. Right now, I have 484,000 on my music page, um, plays, that is. I mean, and on our music page, I have more than a million views and more than a million plays. So, definitely thank y'all. I mean, make sure y'all keep showing love, subscribing, commenting, all that good shit. I mean, but I'm trying to make this tutorial as quick as possible, because I still got to make another one on... Um, something else oh this might be my last tutorial on cool edits um, because I'm about to start doing uh, I'm about to start doing tutorials on like mixed craft and um, Adobe Audition and Pro Tools and Magic's Music Maker 15 I mean, like, all the other recording programs. I mean, like, I don't just stick to one. I have two different studios. This one right here is my in-home studio. But um, not far from me, probably like a 10-minute drive, I have another studio that I use Pro Tools in. So I would basically, like, give my clients different, I mean, ways to get their music done all right if um you wasn't paying attention because i've been talking all you do is highlight a little bit of it that was just this completely silence at um and highlight that go to effects noise reduction then double click on noise reduction get from pro for out um get from selection i'm sorry then hit OK, then double click, 
the whole entire thing so it can highlight like how it is now. Hit OK. Click slash pop eliminator. Then you go to hiss and lots of clicks. Um, hit auto find all levels. After it does that, then hit OK. This is what it does now. Go to filters, graphic equalizer, spit clear. Amplitude, dynamics processing. You can use either one of these. Um, very fast attack with classic softening. Um, I prefer you do classic softening on a R and B track uh, because that has the more R and B feel to it. But this is like a hip hop slash R and B song, so I'm using um, very fast attack. Um, the other thing that you should do always is preview. And I mean, like what you're doing before you do it. Okay, that's her. Um, Y'all might not have heard that, but I did. It was real low, though. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all that you do with um, R&B singing vocals. Um, but my advice to a lot of people that's using this with like that has a USB microphone or anything one thing that you should do whenever if you're the singer or someone else is a singer and but you like producing it or anything um, is make sure that your microphone is able to pick up vocals and like R&B vocals there's some microphones that's good for hip hop vocals, but not good for R and B vocals. So it's like crazy how some microphones are. But I used to have one of those microphones, so trust me, I know. Um, like I said before, um, where I'm at now, I have a DAW, Digital Audio Workshop. That's what it stands for, in case some of you didn't know. Um, all I have is just my laptop, a Dell Inspiron 1521, um, a Samsung CL1U USB microphone, the mic stand, the headphones, the pop filter. That's all I use here. So trust me, it's there definitely is ways to get good ass quality with not spending more than a hundred dollars. There's a one store, Music Go Round. You go to musicgoround.com. It's a real good store, and their prices are unbelievable. Um, I think for everything, I only spent I spent like twelve dollars on my mic stand, like ten dollars on my pop filter, um, probably like twenty dollars on my headphones, and probably twenty five on my own microphone. I mean, like a lot of people don't use it. Doesn't go to that store uh, because um, it's used. But seriously, a lot of stuff that they sell, whatever, is really, really good. Like it seems like it's brand new, but it's not. So that's one thing that y'all should definitely look at is music go around. Oh man, I don't need to do that one. I mean, it's really good. I'm messing up over here. I'm kind of tired. I mean, um, but other than that, I mean, like, I basically showed you how to do it and told you how to. There's nothing to it. Um, I done produced for a whole bunch of R&B singers, hip-hop groups, um, rock bands, um, country singers. I done done... I done produce a whole bunch of songs for all different type of genres of music. So, um, <clears throat> one thing I'm about to do next is my next tutorial will probably be on Pro Tools so that, um, because everyone doesn't use Cool Edit. There's a lot of people I know that has um, Pro Tools. They had it for about a couple months and still don't know how to use it. But that'll probably be my next tutorial on here. Um, subscribe, rate, comment. I mean, 